The charter was not lost, however. It was rediscovered and reimagined as a symbol of something much older, an ancient constitution by the great jurist Sir Edward Cook in the 17th century. Magna Carta, brought into existence to ensure that not even the king was above the law, was revived to reteach this lesson to the Stuart kings. Cook, inspired by Magna Carta, drafted the Petition of Right, which like the Charter, sought to prevent imprisonment without trial and taxation without the consent of the realm, now expressed through Parliament. In another echo of 1215, the petition fails to stop conflict. Charles I raised his royal standard, declaring war against his own parliament, and a bloody civil war ensued. At its end, Charles was defeated, put on trial, and the charter invoked to ensure justice was not delayed by the king's attempt at obstruction. Charles was executed, but the charter was far from supreme. The new Lord Protector, Oliver Cromwell, dismissed Magna Carta as irrelevant in the new republic. <laughs>